Welcome back everyone, you may be in a situation where for some reason your PlayStation 4 controller is just blinking white and you don't even know how to connect it or whatever, but I'll go ahead and try my best to go and fix it for you. So the very first thing I would recommend doing and that a lot of people have kind of recommended is to check your USB cable. Now typically when you go ahead and connect your PS4 to the controller for the first time, it does require you to go and plug in the controller to the PlayStation 4 and then sometimes it tells you to press the PlayStation button or whatever, but if your console is still blinking white, what you can do is just change out that micro USB cable for another micro USB cable. At this point, typically, it goes ahead and fixes itself and you might not even have to watch the rest of this video because that specific situation is fixed now. So that's the very first thing I would probably recommend you to do if your PlayStation 4 controller is blinking with a white color is to change that micro USB cable. Now, another thing that people go ahead and recommend is resetting the console itself. So pretty much turning it off and then turning it back on. So you can do this in a couple different ways. People recommend doing it in safe mode too, but I'd recommend just doing it first off just like this. So you wanna hold down the power button for about 10 seconds and then your console will eventually just shut off by itself. And then you wanna go ahead and unplug the console. And you wanna wait for a couple of minutes, you don't wanna just plug it in right then. But once it's been a couple of minutes, you wanna go ahead and plug your console back into the thing itself. And then you want to go ahead and power on the PlayStation 4. Now plug in your USB cable. You want to make sure it's working and all that stuff and functioning properly. And you want to put it into your PlayStation 4. And you want to plug the other end into the PS4 controller. And at this point, you want to go ahead and press the PlayStation button in the center of the controller. And you should be able to see that the controller will turn on the PlayStation 4. If that still doesn't work, first of all, if it does work, then you're set. You don't have to worry about it anymore. But if it doesn't work, then you wanna go ahead and reset the controller. Now in order to do this, what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and turn the controller around and you wanna find the reset button on the back of your controller. Now you can easily find this if you go and just turn your controller around, you'll see a reset button. And you wanna find something like a SIM card eject tool or a little needle, like something like that. You wanna go ahead and press that little reset button on it and you wanna hold it down for about five seconds. And then at this point, once your controller is reset, you wanna go ahead and plug it back into the PS4 and try that process again, turning on your PlayStation 4 by clicking that PlayStation button in the middle. And at this point, your controller should be working. Now, if for some reason it's still not working or whatever, you may wanna go ahead and check the battery or something on your controller. That may be the issue. Again, the battery is sealed, so it may not be that. But if you can go ahead and try to find, you know, another controller, if you have a friend that uses a controller too, maybe you're trying to connect a PS4 to another controller temporarily and see if it's a PlayStation 4 controller problem or if it's an actual PlayStation 4 problem. If your PS4 is not turning on or it's not accepting any controllers, then it may be your PS4 and you may have to go and try to update it somehow. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.